some of us can't operate, and some of us live to talk about people. Matter of fact, some of us don't feel complete unless there's some conversation where you're talking about somebody. Matter of fact, they believe you're sick. The, you see, the Spirit of God or the child of God does not buckle under when people talk about them. As pastor down through the years, you know, I could always tell someone who in prayer. A person in prayer never come to my office and talk talking about them. Anytime you find someone always talking about who's talking about them and pastor, when I wasn't out last Sunday because I don't like what she said. The child of God, the person who knows the virtue of prayer. We don't even hear when people are talking about us because we don't live on that level. <laughs> we don't live on that level. That level mess you up. You see, when you've been born, again and you have a prayer life and you know God is operating in you. You don't have time to hang out with people talk about folk and the only way you can know someone and talk about someone you had to been there. The spirit of God puts the responsibility for your relationship with God where it belongs on you. You can't blame someone for you missing the mark. Oh, a lot of folk miss the mark because they blame someone else for their excuse. A whole lot of folk are missing it today because someone got you angry yesterday. Child, I ain't going to change today because my spirit ain't right. Uh, what kind of spirit that is anyhow? Uh, what kind of spirit that is anyhow? Uh, you see, when you know that you know, when you know you have a prayer life that impinges on your honesty before God, no one can upset you. Put some sound on these two monitors for me, please. If you have ever desire to really know God, this is your perfect opportunity. You may be surrounded by all kinds of external forces and problems. You may have trouble on every leading side. Through your, but through your partner with your prayer, you can rise above every one of them. Mm -mm. As you become better at praying with the Lord, you can rise above petty problems. The devil keeps the church around in the petty things. People who ought to be praying and shouting and ushering a new day for God always complaining about something. Hmm. You see, once this heavenly relationship has been sanctified, set apart, protected, and covered from within, you will be able to handle anything that comes from without. You will send to the devil, bring it on. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. I'm ready for you, bring it on. You come with your bad stuff. You come, you bring it on. I got something for you. But if you don't know who you are, and your prayer life is not strong, you better not try to tell the devil, bring it on. I believe that's why Jesus was able to confront the religious status quo of his day, you know. The point, he points the people back to the relationship with God. Think about it. 
Jesus was able to endure the cross because what? He prayed without ceasing. Huh? Huh? He built a strong tabernacle within by maintaining consistent communication with the Father. That's where we fall down. Some of us said, I'm going to hurry up prayer in the night and then quickly in the mornings. But you need a constant communication with God. Hmm. Hmm. Through prayer, Jesus could be transfigured by the power of the Holy Spirit. Watch this. To enter into the presence of God, you must first come through the gate. Wake up now. I'm about to get in the kitchen now. Now this gate is positioned at the foot of the cross. Hmm. It brings us back to where the works of salvation was completed. And when you want the best of salvation, you have to go to where it was completed, at the cross. It's only when you position yourself at the foot of the cross, we can see and know the measure of God's divine purpose for our lives. It is at the foot of the cross that God